So small you might not even notice you've been bitten, but ticks can pack a punch. Some, not all of them, carry the bacterial infection Lyme disease. It can cause a rash, but not in everyone, and the early symptoms are easily confused with flu or fatigue. Now England rugby legend Matt Dawson has revealed he was bitten by a tick, but was slow to seek help. It happened when he was training in a park, and he hopes his story will be a warning to others. A few weeks later, my wife saw a rash develop on my back uh, and told me to go and get a blood test, which of course, you know, I'm the husband, I ignored it. Um, and she pestered me for a couple of weeks to watch this infection get larger and larger. The infection spread to Matt's heart, causing scar tissue. He needed two operations and 18 months to recover. I would just never have thought about it. I would always associate it with, you know, they're a little bit of a nuisance or when they can, you know, they can suck up a bit of blood and leave a bit of a scar. Campaigners like Matt are trying to raise awareness, not induce panic. No one's suggesting we should stop venturing out into our parks, moors and woodland. The number of Lyme disease cases is on the up, but that might be because of our wetter, warmer winters or just a better understanding of the signs and symptoms. Wildlife expert Chris Packham says our European neighbours are still way ahead of us though on the potential dangers ticks pose to humans and animals. And there's much better diagnosis at the GPs, uh, more rapid, uh, much better knowledge in veterinary surgeons. And so we're just trying to update ourselves here uh, um, in terms of you know, what we understand about the threats that these animals pose. Chris and Matt are backing the Big Tick project, which recently found that one in three dogs carry ticks, a risk to them and their owners. The message, with ticks and Lyme disease, it's all about being vigilant and spotting things early. Peter Lane. Five News.